Hi and welcome back. On today's exciting episode we're going to do some sheet metal work and with the fuel tank we're going to do some electrolysis. Electrolysis is awesome. It really helps get the paint and the uh, rust off and also we're going to get all the center console cleaned up for priming. There's just a little bit more paint to remove and rust and then on to the priming phase. Electrolysis here. Um, one of my YouTube friends, Main Mike 3 said electrolysis might uh, work on this rust. So what I'm going to do is stick this piece in there and uh, let it go for a while and see what happens. But that's the start of it, looking like this. And uh, hopefully, uh, I've got that for the negative side and on the positive side, just got a uh, stainless steel uh, cover for a light switch. And we're going to put that on there and see what happens. Well, this is my setup. I've got the uh, positive on the sacrificial piece of stainless. I've got the negative on the piece. I ground away a little bit of the metal there to make it uh, more conductive. And I do notice a couple bubbles or two. I don't know if you can see it on there, but anyway, we'll let that go. I put some baking soda in the water and uh, I think I got it on 12 volts right now. We'll see what happens. Looks like a science experiment going on there. Well, we're going to pull it out of there and see how it looks. Well, this is what it looks like coming out of there. Um, film on it and uh, we get that uh, rinsed off. We'll take a look at the result. I am thoroughly pleased at how that turned out. The, um, the pitted metal is easy, uh, you know, it's just clean. The paint came off easy. So electrolysis is a uh, is the way to go and. Hopefully this will be all bare metal next time I show you this. The, elect the electrolysis that has worked so well, I'm going to do it to the gas tank. There wasn't a lot of rust in it, however, it needs to be cleaned and on the outside and inside. So I'm going to stick it down in the electrolysis tank. This is the little setup I came up with. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a try. But around the mouth there is bare metal. So I took some speaker wire and I connected that to that opening. This is mostly filled with uh, baking soda and water. I'm going to stick it down in the rest of the, uh, this tank that has baking soda and water. Well, I got my sacrificial anode in there and definitely something's going on right when I plugged it in. It started going nuts, so something is being de-rusted. I took the positive lead and put it on that little speaker wire that goes down to the mouth of it and we're gonna let that sit and get all degunked. Gas tank has really been doing some work there. Pull that out in a minute and try to clean it up. But first I'm gonna show you some other pens. This morning I finished cleaning up most of the console. It just looks great. It's smooth. It feels good. Um, most of the panels are like that except let me show you this one here too. There's the, the sister of this one needs to be a little work on it. But this one here, I was going to replace, I'm going to try to make up a whole new thing here. But what I've decided is to go ahead and just cut out the top part and weld onto it. The, um, the back of the metal looks really, really good. And um, there's going to be some pitting. Um, that'll cause a couple challenges. But for the most part, It'll be a lot easier than me, for me trying to fabricate that with the bins and the cuts and all that. So, what I've done so far is there's another piece of that console that's all cleaned up. Just made a cardboard template. I'm going to cut out what I think is about the right size uh, piece to put in there and see if we can get her welded up. Okay, I've traced out the piece on a piece of uh, sheet metal. I'm going to cut it out.
Well, this is what dorky me did. I cut this off for the fit here. However, these little angles here that go up are actually puts the non-perfect straight edge on the top. So the perfect straight edge is like this. So I cut it upside down. Anyway, what dorky me is going to do, because I did that, I'm a perfectionist, so I cut off another piece. I'm going to weld it on there and um, get this thing straight again, because I want that perfect straight edge on the top. Okay, I got that piece cut out, and now there are several holes on here that I'm going to have to figure out. I just got to figure out how to drill them perfectly through there. So I got it clamped on there for now. I've got them drawn in there, these little holes here. But once again, I got to figure out I want them exactly where they were so that the thing turns out nice. So I think I'm going to put on my thinky cap and well get that thing drilled correctly. And then we'll cut and weld. For now, let's mess with the fuel tank. This water is a chocolate mess. Holy mackerel. Let's see what it did to the tank. Ooh, I can see some of the paint's coming off already. Get this emptied out and up on the table. Look at this tank. That, uh, the side that was facing the sacrificial anode, holy mackerel, the paint's just coming off of there. Um, the other stuff is not quite that loose. I think I might put her back in there and face that anode other other ways, but good lord, that's that's nice. I'm gonna clean this up real quick. See what it looks like. And that, boys and girls, is the result. Turned out really well, real easy to get the stuff off. This is the only side, and this was the side away from the anode that I still have to get something in there, get that out of there. But the rest of the can came out just clean as a whistle. I don't know what this metal is. Uh, might be galvanized. If it is, I'm gonna have to figure out how to paint that. Um, and the inside, like I said, wasn't too bad. But I think I'm going to stick an anode in there and just do the inside of the tank with some electrolysis just to clean that up and throw some stuff out in there to keep it nice and, and sealed and clean. But anyway, overall, a great, great couple days. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses.